Our hope is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will, we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. And now let us turn unto God and confess our sins. And now let us recite the Confidior. I confess to Almighty God, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May I never boast of anything but the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. For through it the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. May God have pity on us and bless us. Let his face shine upon us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. God our Father, we have assembled to share in the sacred mystery of the body and blood, which your only Son instituted to reveal his love. We pray that this Eucharist may draw us ever closer to you, we ask all of this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The reading for today, Holy Thursday, is taken from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, this month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it 
as the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, on the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall be joined with the nearest household in procuring one, and shall share in the lamb, in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the fourteenth day of this month, and then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lentil of each house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night they shall eat its roasted herbs with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the Lamb, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord, but the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blows will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate, with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial for today is taken from Psalm 116. The response, our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. How shall I make a return to the Lord? for all the good he has done for me. The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosened my bonds. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of his people. The blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. The second reading is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord 
until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I give you a new commandment. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you also should love one another. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love one for another. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dried them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing, you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason, he said, not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet, he put his garments back on, and reclined at table again. He said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I therefore the master and teacher have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, 
by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. The Lord's right hand is raised. The Lord's right hand strikes with power. I shall not die, but live and declare the deeds of the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, may become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands may become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you this day with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice which we have prepared for your most holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in the memory of the Passion, Resurrection, an ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord receive the sacrifice from your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty everlasting God, may this offering which Jesus Christ established before his passion and commanded to be commemorated until the end of time, both strengthen us in spirit and enkindle love within all our hearts. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. 
lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right so to do. Father, Almighty, our Creator, we come to you this day to give you praise and thanksgiving. On that first Holy Thursday, your blessed Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, offered the gifts of bread and wine as his body and blood. And so we commemorate this day in our hearts as he is the giver of all good gifts. And so therefore on this Holy Thursday, we gather with the voices of the archangels and all your angels, along with all your saints in the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating humbly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of mercy and God of all consolation. For you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He then established a lasting memorial of your salvation on the evening in which he willingly surrendered himself. He took bread. He gave you thanks. blessed it, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. When supper had ended, he took the cup. In the same way, he gave you thanks, blessed it, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it, in remembrance of me. So we recall before you, Father, the incarnation of your Son, his words and deeds, how he humbled himself and obediently accepted death, even death on the cross. Therefore you have raised him up and given him a name which is above every name, so that in heaven and under the earth every knee shall bow. And may every tongue Proclaim to the glory of God the Father that Jesus Christ is Lord. We offer this sacrifice of your Son before you, Father, with praise and thanksgiving, and ask that you accept this oblation. Send your Holy Spirit and fill these gifts with his life-giving power, that they may be for us the body and blood of your dearly beloved Son, Grant that the bread which we break may be the body of our Lord, and the cup over which we give thanks may be one with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the company of Mary, the mother of God, with her holy apostles and martyrs, and with all your saints, together with Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, 
and with all bishops, priests, and deacons, as well as your whole church, we praise and glorify you and look forward to the coming of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Instructed by the words of our Savior Jesus, may we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food, 
And may the gifts I have received this day bring me healing and strength now and forever. Amen. This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink in remembrance of me. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Father, we have been refreshed with this food of life instituted on Holy Thursday by Jesus Christ. May we be more faithful in our endeavors and more persevering in our labors so that we may fully be united with you in all eternity. We ask this in the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou who hast suffered wounds for us, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I said in my haste, all people are liars. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward us? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, truly I am your servant. I am your servant and the son of your handmaid. Loosen my bonds, I pray. I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. The Lord is your keeper, the Lord is your shade upon your right hand. Psalm 121 I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. He that keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he keeps Israel, and that neither shall slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade upon your right hand. The sun shall not smite you this day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil one. Psalm 140. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil one. Preserve me from the violent person who images, takes mischief in their hearts. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent person who has proposed to overthrow my goings. The proud have set a snare for me. They have spread a net by my wayside. They have yet to lay more snares for me. I said unto the Lord, You are my God. Hear the voice of my supplication, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head on the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked, further not their wicked devices, lest they exalt themselves. Surely the righteous will give thanks unto your name, and the upright will dwell within your presence. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it, and broke it and gave it to his disciples. The Magnificent. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has regarded the low estate of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all gen generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty has done good things for me, and holy be his name. And his mercy on all those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. 
He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Christ humbled himself and became obedient unto death. Psalm 51. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. According to the multitude of your tender mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified when you speak, and be clear when you judge. Behold, you deserve and desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you shall make me to know wisdom. Purge me with this up, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be made whiter than the snow. Make me to hear of joy and gladness, that the bones which you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your free spirit. To you, my dear brothers and sisters, gathered in thought and prayer on this holy Thursday. So when supper, during supper, Jesus was fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. He rose from supper and took off his outer garments he took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured out into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and began to dry them with a towel around his waist. To you, my dear brothers and sisters, there are many examples of Jesus showing love and humility to all. We gather in thought and prayer on this Holy Thursday, for it is on Holy Thursday that we see the depth of his love. Everything that Jesus did in his ministry was grounded in love. From the healings he performed to the parables in which he taught about God, it was the washing of the feet of his disciples that stands out. We read that Jesus was fully aware of what was to come. He knew that his hour of passion was soon to begin. Jesus, instead of thinking of himself, he thought of others. And then he rose from the table he being the head of the Passover, and Jesus lowered himself to the status of a servant. You know, love is always like that. When, for example, as we have seen, 
during the coronavirus. That when one falls ill, there are many who selfishly come and do the most menial tasks to help and assist that person in need. We know that Jesus washed the feet of all his disciples. Even Peter, who did not want to have his feet washed, allowed Jesus the Lord to show him the love he had for Peter. There's a story about St. Francis of Assisi. He was born to wealth, and in his early years, he was considered an aristocrat among aristocrats. He had the finest of things. But one day, while he was riding his horse, he came upon a leper who was covered in sores. Most people would have steered clear of this man, but something inside moved him. He dismounted his horse and flung his arms around the leper and embraced him. The sight of this outcasted individual caused Francis in his heart to overflow with love. As it turns out, that as he embraced the leper, the leper turned into the figure of Jesus. It can be said that the nearer we are to suffering humanity, the nearer we are to God and become what the Lord intended us to be. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, on this, the beginning of the Tridum, in which we recall the passion, the death, the crucifixion of our Lord, may we take the example of his love and humility and apply it the best that we can. May we be reminded that Paul talks about putting on the Lord Jesus Christ, to having the mind in oneself as that which existed in our blessed Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May we all come before him and pray that we might be more and more like him. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.